Ever wonder if someone is telling you the truth? Would you be willing to pay 10 bucks to find out for sure? Well, we found a website with voice analysis technology that promises to find out if someone is lying to you. Doesn't this sound awesome? All it takes is a telephone. Channel 4 Action News anchor Michelle Wright tried it out. Now, 10 bucks in my mind is worth it. 10 bucks for 30 minutes, right? You okay. can buy however many extra minutes you want. Okay. It's $10 for 30 minutes. It was developed years ago by an Israeli company for government and military uses, but now it's available to everyone. You just have to call the person you want to question. Your phone can easily turn into a lie detector. Everyone has access to advanced voice analysis through the website liarcard.com. It claims to work as a voice polygraph, instantly detecting lies without the person on the other end of the line knowing that their voice is being analyzed. Makes you want to call maybe your ex-boyfriend and see what he was been lying about before. <laughs> and relationships are the number one reason people use it. To test it out, I asked a couple of volunteers to call their friends and see how it worked. Brittany called her friend Jackie. Hey, JT. And Joe called his co-worker Josh. We called a toll-free number and then punched in our PIN codes and punched in the number we wanted to call. Liar Card did the rest. It is kind of an alternative to a lie detector test. I called the president and co-founder, Mayor Cohen, based in Toms River, New Jersey, to find out more. We um, uh, estimated it to be over 90% accurate. It's amazingly accurate. The same technology is used around the world by governments and insurance companies. Joanne didn't. Now, you have to talk a couple of minutes before it starts, and then any time the person you're testing gets stressed, you'll hear a heartbeat start. The more stress, the faster that heartbeat. The person on the other end of the line hears nothing. For obvious lies, you'll hear a high-pitched tone. Now, our callers knew exactly what we were doing, and Joe really put Josh on the spot. Who is your favorite Channel 4 personality? Don't lie now. Uh, if I had to be totally honest, I'd have to say Mike Park. He's my, he's my guy. He's my guy, Michelle. Michelle's one A. During the call or after, you can review the results on the website for a voice analysis. This is really neat, I think, because I like that you can see the orange where she, it says it was dishonest. Makes you wonder what maybe she was dishonest about. That's one way to look at it. Of course, Joe looked at it quite another way. No, no, if I'm doing it to someone, that's fine. Uh, but if it's a girlfriend coming after me on this, uh, I don't think so. That's, <laughs> I can get in trouble enough on my own. I don't need this to, you know, further that. <laughs> Mm hmm. Now, we want to tell you something very important. In this state, the law says you must tell the person on the other end of the line that you're recording them. All states don't require that, but Pennsylvania does. Now, you don't have to tell them that you're analyzing their voice. In addition to relationship questions, Mayor Cohen told me that many employers use it while interviewing prospective employees to know how to steer the conversation or maybe negotiate a better deal. But he said, by far, people want to know if their significant other is being honest. Huh. Would so you, use it? Yeah. you use it? I yeah. really saw how it worked, and I have to say it's very interesting to see how stressful mm -hmm. the other person can be. So, the, so you never know. <laughs> when you answer my phone calls, watch gonna, out. I was gonna say, the lesson is do not take a phone call from Michelle Wright. <laughs> you got that. <laughs> you got that right. It was fun. I liked it very much, Michelle. Good job.